Hi you guys, this is Sharita coming to you by Goddess by Macy. If you want to see this Valentine's Day inspired look, please stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're going to jump right in. As of course, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, you know I always prime my face first, either with Milk and Magnesia or Nivea Men's Aftershave or Maybelline Baby Skin. So I'm going to start priming my face with the Maybelline Baby Skin. I'm just going to put this on my fingers and rub it. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Liquid Matte and Poreless Foundation. I am the color 355. And I'm going to dip it and I'm just going to start painting my face. Painting my entire face. My favorite highlighter of all time. The Smashbox BB Cream. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Which way am I moving? Jesus. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to Okay, so now that I've kind of um, blended the blended my highlight in with my foundation, I didn't want to blend too much because if you blend too much, you're just going to blend it into your foundation. You're going to all have one color. I wanted my highlight to still be here, to still be seen, and be like, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Now I'm going to set my contour with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. This is what it looks like. This stuff is amazing, guys. I know I usually like to use foundation powders to set my creases, but this, I came across this baby and haven't been the same since, okay? Um, it's not like a drugstore. You can't find it in a drugstore. Um, you do have to order it online. They are freaking awesome. So I'm going to take some of this powder and a sponge and just set the bottom of my eyes and then it's on to the brows. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are snatched to the gods, honey, um, we are going to prime my eyelids. So, um, I'm going to do my eyes first, which is something I never do, but since I'm dealing with glitter today, I think it's best to leave my setting powder there so if I have any fallout, I can just take a nice powder brush and be gone. So I'm going to prime my eyelid today with this nice white color by Maybelline from their 24 um, from the 24 hour color tattoo um, eyeshadow by Eye Studio. And it's a nice white creamy color. So I'm gonna use that to prime my lid. But yeah, so I'm just gonna dip my finger in there. Um, if you have a client, I definitely don't recommend dipping your finger in there. And since I got these long nails, I can't dip my finger in there either. So I'm just going to take me a nice little flat brush. And I'm just going to dip it in there. I thought I was going to dip my finger in there, but not tonight. So I'm just going to take a white brush. And it's really creamy. So, and just take a little bit and I'm going to prime my entire outfit. Okay, so I'm going to take a lip pencil in the color 50 Red by Color Essentials. You guys have to remember that makeup is very versatile. Just because it says it's for your lips doesn't mean you have to use it there. So I'm going to take this um, color pencil and I'm going to outline my eye socket where I want my drama to start. Okay? So um, you, if you don't know where you where eye socket is, you can just lean your head back and and look kind of um, downwards at the mirror and you will see where your eye socket naturally starts. I'm, I'm going to draw a little bit above there because I really want my glitter to pop, okay? Now these lines don't have to be perfect. It's just a guideline for where you want to start your eyeshadow, okay? So of course I'm going to take me a nice 
flat blending brush. I'm going to take me a nice flat blending brush and I'm going to use the MAC Professional Palette and I'm going to use all of these shades of pink until I get to the darkest one of my liking, okay? Or my glitter is silver so I like to have um, the same color of my as of my base as the glitter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take me a nice flat blending brush I'm going to dip into this gray color here it's a nice white silvery pasty color and I'm going to put that on my lid while I'm putting it on my lid I'm definitely going to define my crease so any pink that may have flowed downward while we were blending I can correct my crease here so now for the fun part I am going to take my Ben Nye glitter glue Ben Nye the makeup guy all right I'm gonna take my Ben Nye makeup glitter glue and I am going to take this Silver Glitter by Glamour Glitter and I'm going to apply that to my lid. Now it's best to apply with a small brush because especially with glitter you don't want to use too much of it. Um, especially you never want to use any of your makeup products too much. If you don't have to use a lot of it, don't use a lot of it. And um, yeah, save save everything and especially with this glitter glue now you want to be careful and not get it in your eyes you guys because this stuff it gets in your eyes it is over honey you are about to be blind okay blind so I'm going to not really blind you're just gonna burn your eyes so I'm gonna apply it to my lid and then apply my glitter Okay, so after you've gotten your lids to shine bright like a diamond, honey, we are going to attach our lashes. Now, say a prayer for me as I attach these lashes because those of you who put on lashes know that putting on lashes is a stressful situation, honey. That situation is just so stressful. So I'm going to be applying the Salon Perfect Eyelashes. Um, I'm going to do that off camera and come right back. Y'all pray for me while I'm gone. Pray for me. Okay, so now that I have applied my lashes and came back, honey, thank y'all for whoever said a prayer and interceded on my behalf. Because, honey, me and lashes, Jesus, we don't fool with each other all the time, y'all. We really don't. So, anyways, um, I feel like since after applying my lashes, I definitely need to highlight my brow. Because my eyes are giving a lot of life right now, honey. So, I want to highlight my brow with a nice little coffee color. So, I don't want to take away. I want to take away from what the glitter is doing. So, I'm going to take my... Um, Maybelline voluminous lashes to blend my bottom lashes, my real lashes with the fake ones. Now because we have so much going on at the top, I'm going to give my bottom eye a little bit of a smoke with my black liner. You can take any black liner and just smoke out your bottom eye. Now that I'm done with my eyes and I'm satisfied with how they look, I'm going to take a damp paper towel I scrunched them up please excuse me and I'm just gonna go on the side and wipe straight across so I can have a nice straight line going out now if you smear a little bit of pink it's okay smear a little bit of glitter it's okay cuz honey we're about to put our foundation we're about to put our powder on and it's all good and now your eyes are straight and fierce honey so now I'm going to take a fluffy kabuki brush, flat kabuki brush. 
I'm just gonna brush my leave out from up under my eyes. And look y'all, the glitter went away too. Boom, it's gone, hello, goodbye. <laughs> Okay, so of course, with this look, we got a lot of glam going on with the eyes, so I gotta add me a little contour. So I'm going to take the NYX Contour Pencil, and it is going to be the color Espresso. I'm gonna highlight around my cheeks, and of course my forehead, and a little under to cut, to cut back some of them cookies that I like to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna go down the side of my nose a little bit, just a little bit. And a little trick that I learned from watching Miss Fame this week: you go on the outside of your nose, right here, a little bit, just to bring your nose in. Of course, I'm gonna get my forehead. And I'm gonna get down here on my chin. I'm going to take a damp blue beauty blender and blend it all out. Okay. So I am going to take my nice and new huge pan brush. And I am going to dip it into my soft focus palette by Black Radiance. It's a darker shade than I normally am. And I'm just going to dip my fan brush in there and just kind of fan out my contour on my cheek. After I have contoured my face to my liking, I am then going to to add my blush. Now you guys know my favorite blush is MAC Amberine Rose. So I'm going to dab a little bit on there and I'm just gonna hit the apples on my cheeks. Can't believe I forgot my eyeliner. The eyeliner I use is by Black Radiance. It's their gel eyeliner. Now that I've contoured my face to my liking, I'm going to set my eyebrows. I'm going to set my eyebrows with my jam. Y'all know I love using my jam. I'm going to dip this little brush in here and just set these bad boys. Okay, so now that I have set my brows, of course, you know, it's time for the lippy. But I just feel like this look needs something. It just needs a little bit more. I know let's add a beauty mark yes so I'm going to take my thin little brush that I use to do my liner I'm going to dip it in my black radiance gel liner just a little bit just a little dip where should I put it hmm should I do a Marilyn over the lip oh I think I'm gonna put it on the cheek you know so you guys know um, I usually love doing matted lips, so I'm not going to do a matted lip today. I'm going to do a nice glossy pink lip since it's Valentine's Day. I stole this lip color from my sister. Shout out Renee if you're watching. It's going to be the Black Radiance color, 50, color 525D. So, yeah. face, And we're going to set our face with the NYX Matte Finish Spray. Alright, so I'm going to go throw my hair on and transform myself for y'all. I'll be right back. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. I pray God with a bless up. A bless up. A bless up. Bless up. Bless up.